morning third graders. Welcome to your Tuesday language lesson and today we are taking a test. This test, I have to say, is pretty simple though. So go ahead and get out the test. I'm going to go over each section with you, give you a few little points and hints and tips so that you can do your very best on this test. So the first section in test 14 wants you to correctly add the adjective when you're comparing two things or three or more things. So if you remember in some of my slides and videos, and if you wanna go back and watch those videos, please do, it might help you out. If you're comparing two things, you're gonna use ER. Two letters in ER, comparing two things. So between me and Miss Simonis, I am shorter. We're going to use ER, okay? If you're comparing three or more things, then you will use EST. Three letters, three or more people. So out of all of the teachers, I am not the short est, okay? We would use EST. Also, when you're comparing two things, you would use the word more. I am more tired than Miss Adon. If you're doing three, you would say most. I am the most tired out of all of the teachers, okay? Don't forget, good, better, best, bad, worse, worst, okay? Um, those were all in those videos that I showed you earlier. Section two is your adverbs. You're going to one, Find the verb in each sentence. Please do this first. Double underline it, find that verb. The next thing that you're going to do is ask yourself, how does this happen? When or how often? In order to find the adverb. So if the verb is play, how did she play? Loudly, softly, gently. You're gonna circle that ad adverb and draw the arrow back to the verb it describes. And that's it. On the back, simple. You're gonna write two sentences. One, using the word politely. That should describe how you do something. You can politely fill in the blank. And then you're going to write an imperative. Remember what imp imperative sentences are. You're gonna write an imperative sentence using the word carefully. I want you to carefully fill in the blank, okay? You can make your own sentences there. Don't forget capitals, don't forget punctuation. You will lose points if you forget those things. And then the very bottom is some diagramming, but don't worry, it's very simple. You're gonna diagram subject, verb, and adverb. And you can see it right there in those lines where those things need to go. Don't forget to mark your sentences. I will say it one more time. Don't forget to mark your sentences. That's where a lot of you lose points. It says to draw the line between subject predicate, underline your subject once, verb twice, circle your adverb, then diagram your stuff, okay? Good luck on this test. If you somehow get stuck, let me know. Let me know on Zoom, or you can also email me and I can meet you on Zoom between one and three o'clock. Good luck on your test, guys.